Hey guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we created this Android app. We made some changes in the code on Arduino IDE and we tested it. Today, we'll start writing the code in Python to create our personal assistant and this way controlling our Arduino board using Python. So guys, let's get started. <laughs> Well, I'll be using VS Code for writing the code. And if you don't have it installed, please download and install it. I'm not going to explain everything in this video because this is not a Python course. So I assume that you already have some knowledge in Python. We'll need to set up some things before start coding. You have to install pip. And to see whether you have it installed or not, go on Windows Shell and type pip. If you get this, it means you have it installed. Now let's install two libraries. The first one is text to speech. And the second one is speech recognition. So after installing these two libraries, what we have to do now is to go and create a new file. I'm going to call it personalassistant.py. Okay, now we have our file created. Okay guys, now let's start coding. The first thing I'm gonna do is to import the libraries we installed. I'm going to import text to speech library, speech recognition and serial. We can now initialize the text to speech library by saying that engine is equal to text to speech. Now I'm going to create some variables to store the port where our Arduino board is connected and both. For now I'll write it this way. Later I'll check the port. So let's create a variable and we'll say that the variable is equal to a class from the serial library called the serial and give it the values from port and boat. Well, now it's time for us to create some functions. So I'm going to create a new function and call it speak and give it a parameter. I'm calling it audio. It's going to allow our personal assistant to speak whatever we want. And inside the function, I'll call a function called say from the engine and, and give the parameter audio and I'll call another object called run and wait, actually a function. Now I'm going to create another function and call it take command. It's going to take whatever we, we say and recognize it. I'm going to set up the microphone and see if it can catch what we say. And I'll print something to see that it's listening to us and, and then recognize what we, we said.
I'll create a variable and call it command. It's going to sort everything we say by passing the data stored in audio, the find the default language, and then it should be able to print what we said. Okay, now we are done with these two functions. The first function allows the personal assistant to speak whatever we want and another to listen and recognize what we said. So I'm going to create another function, I'll call it greeting and start using the two functions we just created. This is going to allow it to speak something when we run the code. Well guys, after writing what I wanted to say, I'm going to call the function greeting and then test it to see how it's working. Okay, now let's save the code and then run it. Mm, okay, it seems to have a problem. Let me check. Oh, okay, okay. It's because we didn't we didn't define the port, so it couldn't find the port we, we, we defined. So let me just comment this line of code and then try it again. Hello sir. I'm your personal assistant. Please tell how may I help you? Well, as you can see it's working without problem. It can now convert text to speech and speak whatever we want it to speak. But the only problem is that it seems to speak very fast and I don't and I don't like it. So in the next video, I'll make it speak a bit slow and see if we can write some lines of code to control our Arduino board. So guys, this is all for today. See you next time.